nobody's even really talking about the best mirrorless camera that was released in the last two weeks this was released last night um our boys at fujifilm decide to drop drop it like it's hot yeah i'm pretty surprised nobody's talking about it because this literally blows both of those cameras out of the water like but it's not a full frame mike name aside you know is that it is that why nobody nobody even considers anything but full frame it's it's not a full frame so it it doesn't count (laughs) so weird People are, I don't know when that happened, when, you know. Uh, yeah, when did that, it was Canon? Canon with the Mark II, you know, that was yeah, kind of the right? camera, that was kind of the camera that changed the game. Because um, I'll say from a video side of things, people were fine with the, people were buying up the 7D. Yeah. Um, for well, video. People are still buying GH5, which is even smaller. Right, but right. Nobody That's wants- micro four thirds. And I don't even know if I want to go that that small, honestly. The video features of this thing, uh, me and Mike talked about it. Mike, Mike isn't happy. I think a lot of H1 users are not, probably not happy. We're we're not sure why they didn't just wait on the X, XH1 and put the, this processor and this sensor inside of that camera. But um, yeah, I would have waited eight months for that. But no, <laughs> no way to, but no way to know, right? I mean, they're not going to release that information and. I just am so surprised. I mean, it's fine, but I'm just so surprised that for the video, for the first video focused camera, you want to come out of the gates hard and you don't put the new sensor in and you don't put the new processor in. Uh, I just don't, I don't get that. Cause like, yeah, I just don't get it. I wouldn't have even made an XH line. Like go, you could even release X, XT three and XT three Ibis. You know? well, maybe they can't put the maybe they can't fit the the ibis inside of this body. It's a super small body. I mean, it's yeah, tiny. Yeah, and I do like the larger body. I don't know. I just want the new. I just want the sixty frames at four K. I want the. Why would you leave the headphone jack off? <laughs> like I can get around it, but I'm come not on. Sure, why they did that? That is really don't annoying. do that. Ugh. Um, for people, I'm sure if you're watching this, you already know the specs, but we've got a new X-Trans sensor, a uh, new processor, 30 frames per second without any blackout in the EVF. Um, all the, all the autofocus is brand new. It's throughout the entire sensor, so there's like 200 processes instead of 60 processes for autofocus. 4K 60p 10-bit recording on top of 10-bit on anything else. Um this camera is just amazing for the size for the, the pro- ten pits. Wild man, I can't believe they, they fifteen hundred dollars, folks. Is that a bargain yeah. or what? Yeah, made in I made wouldn't. in China, made in China. China if you're talking one. about specs alone, there's no reason not to buy this camera unless you have some sort of affiliation with full frame. That is, I think the full frame thing to go back to that is is similar to the fucking. Uh, the fucking Apple thing. Everyone's stuck on has to be this, has to be. Like, people thought that, like, to do design and video work, you had to have an Apple computer yeah. for a while. And it's yeah. like, no, why? that doesn't make any sense. It's just a computer. It's like, full frame, yeah, it gets you some specifically, specifically, it gets you a larger area. But otherwise, it's no different. What about the Boca, bro? It, you can still get the bokeh, just get a wider lens. <laughs> uh, people are stuck on full frame because they're chumps. They gave it Eterna. They gave it a new. They have a new like uh, color effect where you can change the black and whites to be warmer or cooler. Now that's the other thing that you can do with the uh, picture profiles in this camera. A little sepia. Yeah, um, it's just it's just an awesome camera. It's such a good upgrade. Um, it's going it's great for the for the next line i think this is a good i mean who knows what they can do with the xh1 maybe they'll maybe they'll maybe they'll do something even better you know maybe it'll have the five xh2 you mean yeah maybe it'll have the 5k or whatever on top of it just just because they could maybe we'll see i mean uh i'm excited for it but i'm not excited for buying another camera yeah Uh, they did kind of did punch the XH1 users in the face with this because the video features aside are uh, 
better. I mean, just straight up, everything straight is up. better. Two UHS two slots, headphone jack. You can remove the battery door and or the 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 side door in case you're using it with the headphone jack and shit, so that it doesn't get in the way. It has it is cool. It has a USB C in it, so that's gonna open up a whole plethora of things with the USB C. They were even saying you can plug a power bank into the USB C and charge the camera that way. You can do that. You can do that with the USB now on the XH one. Oh, so. you can. Okay. Yeah, but USB C is obviously going to be a faster. That's just charge. faster. Yeah. So yeah, I'm actually surprised they didn't make it so you could do video out of the USB C because a lot of uh, monitors take USB C video. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can. Uh, maybe with a you know they'll be upgrading firm, the firmware. firmware so yeah, yeah maybe. Um, and then my favorite part is this damn thing comes in silver. And I think if I were to get one, I'm, I'm going to get it in silver, folks. It just looks so beautiful in silver. I don't know. It's a little too flashy for me. Too flashy for Mike, but for me, uh, it it's perfect. Um, yeah, uh, awesome camera. Nobody's talking about it because it's an APS-C. Apparently, it doesn't even with, you know come close. Uh, it's, it's a BSI sensor, everybody, and... Um, people who have tested the camera said that they were shooting this thing at 8,000 ISO with little to no noise. So, um, Back, backside illuminated is, uh, yeah, it's going to be all the sensors. So I'm glad they did that. Upgrade what can too. you, okay. 8,000 ISO. So if you're going full frame for low light and ISO capabilities, that's out the door because who even shoots at 8,000? I don't even, my brain doesn't even consider 8,000 ISO as a usable ISO to begin with. Yeah, so, I get to 6,400 and I'm like, uh, a little high. But maybe, I mean, people go go hard on ISO. We've talked about this. That's true. They go but real it's not, hard. But it's not 128,000, so <laughs> I don't know, Gerald. That's true. You can't really do anything without 128,000 ISO. I mean... Um, you're not even shooting on the beach in the dark at that at eight thousand. So yeah, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Uh, yeah, I think this destroys the um, Chipotle lenses and the uh, first generation mirrorless offerings by both of those stupid camper camera companies. What they were yeah. thinking? I don't know. I, I think they just wanted to like dip their toes in, and they didn't want to go hard. And Fuji went hard, as usual. Fuji Film, thank you so much for being amazing. I'm so stoked about this camera. I oh well, oh, and one... let's let's just say straight up, Eterna Eterna. I think is Fuji Films. That's the thing that's gonna hook people. Uh, if people knew about it more, I think they people should. People don't doing, even know yet. People don't. Even they should know be doing pr- promotional videos on this shit. I mean, that is. It just looks so good right out of camera. So like, can't be. Yeah. It. Our new XT threes do not need the grip any longer to perform at its highest. So you're having a hundred frames per second in the EVF, and you get the um, eleven frames per second all uh, with regular, and then thirty frames a second with electronic. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be shooting at 30 frames a second. <laughs> so they're doing like a UH, uh, H.265 compression, which is just a better compression um, for video. And it's just got more detail. And it's I think it's sort of uh, on the cutting edge. So it's not, um, it's not like insane. Uh, insanely figured out yet. I think not a lot of people have it, but um, exciting that they put it in there. Um, they also have the like intra frame and all eye compression. Oh yeah, it's like the interlacing or whatever. It, re- it like re- it writes out every frame or yeah, it writes out. Uh, so it's like whether it like just records the changes in between frames or if it writes draws every frame separately. And those are good options to have. I just use the all eye every frame separately. I don't know if there's much of a difference, but that's all I've ever used. Canon used to do that, so that's how I know it. Um, yeah. Anyway, so just to, just adding a bunch of video options that they should have added in the XH1, and they didn't. But <laughs> it's just it's stupid that they didn't no. do this for the XH1 and Fuji. We are we are honestly kind of pissed off at you for that, but we are excited that you guys are. Um, just telling everyone to basically fuck off. We're we're here to stay. Right. <laughs> I just, <laughs> well, they're they're I know. jumping into video. I know. Uh, and the other people have been doing it for a while, but like, 
Video wise, Nikon is a little behind the trend. Even Canon, I mean, they have their cinema cameras, but when it comes to small format, Canon's not uh, cutting edge either. So you know, uh, you know, I think Fuji has a Fuji has a real Fuji has a real ability to jump in here and uh, with the Eterna profile, with the F log, with the ten bit to and a little bit larger sensor than the Panasonic. I mean, I think they really have a place. Kind of, you're right though. You were talking about you don't want other people jumping in on this too much. I want everybody switching over to Fuji. It's like <laughs> stay stay with yeah, your yeah, yeah, stay yeah, with yeah, your yeah. basic you cameras. Just... It's cool. It's still full. Fr it's not a full frame. It's not okay, a full frame. It's not a full frame. You're not you're gonna wondering. get that. I mean, you could it's get like full. a speed booster, and it's totally the same thing. But don't don't just stick with your stick with your Canon don't full bother. frame. Stick with your Nikon full frame. No problem. Your lenses. That look like five dollar foot longs. Okay. Even worse. Yo, not even a Chipotle burrito <laughs> anymore. <laughs> oh, this silver one, folks. I hope to have one. It's a Christmas <sighs> gift for myself. That's that's what I'm aiming for. I gotta save up some money. Um, but yeah, we wanted to talk about it. I think um, I think this camera beats every other uh, mirrorless camera that was talked right, about the last right, two right, weeks. Right, right, right. So we'll see if anybody. Uh, Sony's not releasing anything at Photokina. So uh Sony where where you at? A seven four foot one billion ISO We up <laughs> the perfect one billion we updated ISO we updated Canada. nothing but Ace. we added one billion ISO and a spin cycle. Oh sorry that was <laughs> that was the washing machine. Oops. <laughs> We've added the touch screen on the front of the fridge. Oh, it is the on. same touch screen on the front of this fridge that is on our A7S4. Same touch screen. I'm not, it's, it's the same technology. Same firmware. Bro, the, you have that fridge? You can use the fridge to remotely trigger your camera. <laughs> We like to shit talk Sony because Sony is not a camera. <laughs> you can have your uh, your they camera will notify you while you're camera. shooting if your wash if your laundry's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, laundry's I was done. shooting this film. Your PS Look. your PS five update your PS five <laughs> update is now complete. <laughs> your buddy yeah your buddy's just, playing like, uh, PUBG systems. right now just on your phone on your camera while you're yeah, shooting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald's <laughs> playing uh, PUBG. Oh, nice. It does. It has the you can just start playing right there. Just it stop the, the shoot. Just start playing PUBG. I guess that's it. If everybody, um, if we could get one more subscriber, looking for one. We still have. We Thank still have God. Florio. I'm glad he didn't leave. He still are. He hasn't heard our last podcast where we called him out a bunch of times. So nobody's gonna listen to that. Yeah. It's too long. Um, we're we're trying to make things shorter, folks, and uh, we're gonna keep talking. So subscribe. Instagram at Pond Collective, but YouTube, bye bye, bye bye bye, Twitter, bye 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 bye, Pond Collective, bye.